All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I wanted to do a quick response, you know, to this devil vocab Malone. All right, vocab the devil Malone. And uh, he made this video here, you know, against our apostle and elder, Apostle Tahar, you know, trying to make make it seem as if Apostle Tahar contradict itself. And Apostle Tahar did not contradict himself. All right, you vocab, you're going to learn. You're going to learn, you know, who you truly dealing with. You know, you think that you can slant, you think that by slandering, making mockery, you know, making these Street Fighter videos, you know, making entertainment about this word, you know, you come against our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone, you come against uh, all the Hebrew Israelite camps. You're going to realize that these men who you're coming against and this word you're coming against is not against these men per se. It's truly against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and his doings. So you're basically fighting the Most High. You know, and yeah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai set you up, but he set you up to be destroyed. Okay, just as well as he's doing Esau right now, puffing, puffing him up, you know. But anyway, you know, with this lesson, or less, not even a lesson, you know, this guy striving to make mockery, you know, it shows that vocab that you're not spiritual, nor do you know the scriptures. Now, the brother uh, Shalomai, all right, in the camp, he did a video a couple of days ago, and I see he posted this. So, you know, I did, went into it, went in Vocaz page. This is his community section where he posted stuff. And as you can see, it says Vocab Malone six days ago. New strategies are effective. Views up by 49% over the past month. Please support and keep us strong in 2020. And then he leaves his GoFundMe at. So so what are you? You a YouTuber? You know, with this being said, shows you that he's he's not truly for the gospel in which he preach. You know, he does this for what? For fame, entertainment. All right? He's not truly waking any he's not striving to wake anybody up. What he's sent to do is to rock you Israelites back to sleep. All right. And I'm talking about you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. He's set up as an opposition. OK, he's sent, you know, to, to uh, rock you Jake's back to sleep, you know, but he not not realizing that, you know, the scriptures say you could do nothing against the truth before the truth. So really, with your platform and your audience, your range of audience, you know, they're now being marked. They're learning of who the true Israelites are. All right. So this is a win-win for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and for us, you know, because this is, you know, help pushing this word through the four corners. All right. The Lord is going to deliver his elect. But guess what? Everybody has to know about this truth, this gospel. Now, he got last 28 days, views, watch time. So it shows you that this is what he does it for. This is why he does it. This is why he held this video. He held, you know, the clippings of the, the visit he did about a year ago with the apostles. And now he decided to chop it up, make uh, these, uh, these corny, because it's not even funny. You know, he tried to make these videos up. To make mockery of our apostles. You know. He wants to make money off this thing man. Well I don't see no commercials. So he must be not monetizing these videos. You know. Well this video per se. I should say. But you want fame. Alright. The Lord is going to deal with you vocab. It's just a amount of time. You know. And, that's, and I'm saying that through the spirit. And power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Our warfare is not carnal man. Alright. So it says 
you know, let me see. Why views are higher than usual. See, he circled it showing you, you know, he want all the support. You know, so that shows you what his true intentions are. You know, it's to rock you Jake's back to sleep and to uplift uh, white supremacy. Okay? Have everyone still believing in that the son of God, the son of the most high, is a so-called white man. Or even God himself, of who you call God. You know? Basically that plantation slavery doctrine. But anyway, I want to bring out a few precepts that I had here. I forgot where I was going. I want to make it quick. But yeah, let me bring this out real quick. This is Ezekiel chapter 14. And uh, and I start at 8. Because all of your followings, all of you guys who on the video, the comments, and that support this guy, you're in trouble. And I'm going to read you a scripture here. Now, vocab is not a part of us. He's not a part of the Lord's people because it's clear to see through his spirit he's an Edomite. All right, even though this scripture is talking about Israelites, false prophets, but this pertains to you, okay? And this pertains to all of the false prophets, all right? So it says, Ezekiel 14 and 8, And I will set my face against that man, and I will make him a sign and a proverb. So eventually soon, all right, when that time come of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and judgment come upon you, vocab, you're going to be a sign and a proverb. It says, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people. And he wants to be a part of the Lord's people so bad. You know, his whole YouTube, his whole, uh, his name on YouTube is all about being in the house of Israel. Going against us. Basically think that, you know, he's going to go to the camp and he's going to confound you and cut you and expose you. When we already expose ourselves by going out week in and week out teaching the gospel. All right. We expose what we teach. There is no private interpretation. Okay. This is why the men of the Lord are sent out. All right. Sent out. What did you think? You know, you actually think by doing this is going to do anything against this word. You're out of your mind. But I guess he knows that because he's an intelligent man. He's a demon. You know, I guess he wants some sort of fame with this, this whole thing that's going on. But the fame that you want is really what you don't want. You know, bad publicity is not good publicity when it comes to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And a lot of you guys need to know that. Bad publicity is not good publicity. It doesn't work. That works of the world. But of this truth, you get marked. All right. It says, I will set my face against that man, and I will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. And if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken a thing, which is vocat, all right, I, I Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. So you see that the Lord clearly set him up, okay, on his left hand side, and he set him up to deceive this so called prophet. Right. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. Now, verse 10, here's the point. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. All right. So as the scriptures say, let the blind lead the blind. They both shall fall into a ditch. Well, here you go. Your whole congregation and everyone that believe in your white supremacy, all right, and making mockery of the true prophets of the Lord, the word of the Lord, I should say, making light of this thing, the Most High is going to punish you, the prophet, the main one that's deceiving, and the ones that seek unto him, a part of his congregation. You know, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is to be feared, man. Now, I just want to bring this out real quick pertaining to uh, this video that this devil did and trying to make Apostle Sahar seem as if he contradict himself. You don't know the scriptures, vocab. You don't know the scriptures at all. This is uh, Romans chapter 8 and 14. It says, as for many 
as are led by the spirit of Yahweh, they are the sons of Yahweh. It says, and ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. All right, you see why the Lord sent his prophets out. All right, we don't have fear, humility, okay? We embrace it. You know, we, we rejoice through it. You know, as the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, be with us, we rejoice through it because we now know, all right, that what? We're partakers of Yahweh Shai's suffering. So it says, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. Of course, because there was a falling away. All right. A discontinue from our heritage. So do this gospel of Yahweh Shai and his spirit. All right. We able to come back and be adopted back. All right. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. It says the spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit. That we are the sons of the Most High. Now that children goes back to Bun in the Hebrew, which means sons of the Most High. So it says, the spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit. So we able to tell, all right, by the Lord's word and by the spirit, okay, of the Lord, which he gives us as the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That we are the sons of the Most High. Okay? So to tell whether someone, you know, if someone believes in this truth and they have that driven fire spirit behind them to believe and 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 you know to come into the fold and and endure, then the spirit bear witness with our spirit. That look, he is what? Of the son of the most high. Okay? Verse 17, if and if children, then then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Doesn't matter what complexion of their skin is, okay, or the texture of their hair. Alright? Now we talk about color because color is an indicator, and also the devil started this. Okay, going back to the Renaissance, iconoclism, iconic, if I'm saying that right, you know, whitewashing the, the pictures and so on. For what? White supremacy. So we have to talk about color. But this truth is more than color. Okay, it's about faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And we also know of the speckled bird confusion of faces that the Lord's people were going to look like all people on the earth. All right, it's about the spirit. So it says, the spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. And we know you vocab, you're not even an Israelite, man. You know, you don't even know the scriptures. And you claim to be this uh, this uh, proud, proud man to defend the gospel of the Lord when you don't know the gospel of the Lord. All right. So going back to the video here with Apostle Sahar, yeah, we can actually... Through the spirit, see if someone, you know, uh, is is of son of the Most High. Okay. All right. This is the Book of Sirach, chapter nineteen and twenty nine. It says, "A man may be known by his look, and one that have understanding by his countenance, when thou meetest him." All right. So with this being said, you know, which everybody do, whether they know it or not. As it says, a man may be known by his look. You judge someone according to their look. You would know what type of person they is. This is called reading the spirit. All right. You know, if a person is a cop, an undercover cop, you'd be like, yo, yo, how that guy, you know, his mannerism is, yo, he probably a cop. You don't know for sure if he is or not. And it will reveal itself. But when you judge him in your mind, you go, yo, he probably a cop. You know, we all do that. Everybody. It says a man may be known by his look and one that have understanding by his continence. So if you have understanding, you judge a man by his, con his uh, continence. All right. It says when thou meetest him. So if definitely if you meet him, you see how he talk. You know, if he's well mannered, is he a nigga? You know, is he respectful? Is he disrespectful? All right. 
That's reading the spirit. Reading the spirit of that person. That's called discernment. So all Elder Apostle Zahar is saying, which we all do, is having discernment to know or to see whether you fit the description of being an Israelite or not. You could look like an Israelite, but that don't mean you're an Israelite. Verse 30, a man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is. And this is more understanding to know what type of spirit this person possess. Okay, a man's attire. Excessive laughter, all right, he's a silly one. You know, he laughs a lot, he likes to joke. His gait, the way he walk. You know, you can tell if someone is a homosexual. If you driving down the street or say you walking, you see somebody across the street and the way that the man is walking, what you saying in your head? Oh, oh, he one of them. Oh, you know what, oh, he one of those. You know? Oh, he a homosexual. Oh, she a lesbian. Look how these women dressed up like men. What you say? Oh, that's a female. Sometimes you get confused. You think it might be a female, but really is a man. Sometimes you think there's a man, but it's a female. She got a low cut, Tim's on, walking like a dude, like she got a rod between her legs. Show what he is. So when we look, you know, at individuals like movie actors, athletes, fighters, boxers. You know, for an example, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, we say he was he he has to be an Israelite. The flavor, the salt, his style, his philosophies, his wisdom, it shows that he of the ilk of being an Israelite. Okay? Now is that gonna bring you salvation? Whether or not he is or not? No. But the point of the matter is, El Apostle Tahar, okay, did not contradict itself. This is straight slander by the devil vocab alone. All right? And this is for the, you know, the knuckleheads out there who the Lord is not dealing with, you know, to make this as entertainment. You know? So hopefully this lesson is edifying to those up the whole four elect. Continue to keep pushing and praying until Yahweh Bashmi Awa Shai and doing all the way to the end. Remember, this is the time to seek mercy of Yahweh Bashmi Awa Shai. All right? Judgment is coming. And judgment starts at the house of Israel first. So, how much more those who obey not the gospel of the Most High? You know, judgment is coming into the wicked. You know, so with that, I hope you are edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashmi Awa Shai. By Shumra Kakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.